Well, it's time for the final map of the penultimate day of Pro League here in Malta. Number three ranked team in the world, Ents, takes on number 12 in Maus. But this is not the Maus that lost this best of three as a grand final back at IEM Dallas. This is the new and improved Maus with, of course, Shui and our boy Jim Pat. I am joined now by Henry G, who is here to take us through map three. Oh, yes, and indeed. I may not be an Elige, Con, I'll be honest with you, but I can certainly tell you what grenades they've got in their hands, how much money they've got. <laughs> I can do all of that stuff, no problem whatsoever. And we'll get into the pistol round here Ooh. in the CT start for Torji and Co. But he's gone down early, and the ramp room is under a lot of scrutiny here from Ents. This whole series has been decided by T sides, and Ents opening up their T side campaign with a nice pick from D, who's been relatively quiet by his standards in this series so far. Frozen wanted to get aggressive, but didn't feel comfortable. And now the duelies have gone down up in lobby and it gets so difficult because Madden can bust out this flank whenever he wants. He's just buying more time stuck by those vents. Snappy's going to find Shuey blind by his own flash if I'm not mistaken. Frozen's not going to be able to answer with the double headshot. So Jimpat has to come down. No kit. 1v3. Bang. No chance, kid. You're done. You're out of here. Well, there we have it. An emphatic start for Ents, a T-side conversion in the pistol, and Mouse have nothing to say about it. Now, on Nuke, we do know that most teams will force by in the second round, and it looks to be no different here as well. Shuey has called it. The Desert Eagles are coming through, and we're going to see an SMG in the hands of Frozen as well, that lower bomb site under a lot of pressure. Madden closing things out there, and here comes the full buy from Ents as well. Operating with full rifles, and of course, nerds of the MP7. Jason, have you tried it out yet? Uh, I, was it I was deathmatching with it earlier today. It was feeling nice. It was feeling I, good? It was feeling nice, I'm not gonna lie. I would recommend a little swap over to it, because I'm, right. gonna put, I'm gonna put in some action tonight. This okay. game is gonna deliver. The crowd are back in there. <laughs> Round number two, the force buy from Mouse Sports here. But for now, Ents making decent progress towards outside. Wall of Smoke's deployed, and we've got two players down towards lower. Diha, such a beast, ready to open things up, but he's got Frozen to deal with here. The only player that went with the SMG, Molotov off, he has to retreat. Diha's so good at creating space for his teammates. And Nerds, as we saw in Vertigo, so good at just doing his own damn thing. Yeah. The way he floated around that map, constantly finding the most perfect timings. But right now, even with Frozen having pulled back from the double store, we don't actually have any defense in B. The entirety of Ents barring Nerds is ready to take that bomb site, and Nerds is going to get contact up inside of Lobby, dealing with pistols swimmingly. Yeah, and now Ents have the entire, whatever, wherever they want to go, they can. They can come up the vent if they feel confident in the upper bomb site, and with that kill, they just might. No one's down lower either, however, they're just on the ramp, and so Ents is just going to just say, you know what, forget it. We don't even need to engage in any of that. We don't need to go through those shenanigans. Planted the upper bomb site. Second round locked in for Ents. Or so you think, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. You're, you are right there. That's correct. There's a fair assessment. Frozen and Jim Pat will be. Whoa, oh, that does not look sick. comfortable. No, that's a awkward. That's going to get some back pain tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. We've all been there. We've all given it a go, haven't yeah. we? Fall, falling asleep in our clothes, legs <laughs> strewn about. <laughs> um, so for now, the objective for Mouse to try and hold on to the little they have. Frozen with the MP9, as mentioned. Jim Pat with the old Desert Eagle. They'll both be coordinating themselves towards Trophy Room, hoping to. Take a couple of players down with them, but then starting to traverse the map, make their way towards T-Spawn. Not on the hunt here. Let the CTs hold on to their, their pistols, their MP9. It's going to be 2-0. Now, bear in mind, I've got Ents as the favorites in this last map here. Like, Mouse Sports, at points, is like the world's best team, right? Uh, but that second map fell apart for them. Ents bouncing back, and they did the same on Mirage as well. Yeah. Do you feel like Mouse have enough left in the tank? It's been a long old game. Yeah, I've got a lot of confidence in this Mouse from, from what we've seen in the playoffs, especially the G2 series. I mean, I think Shuei's called incredible T sides today really throughout has. this. Yeah, like, I mean, both teams' T sides have been absolutely incredible. So I'm curious if that's going to change here on Nuke, right? If that's going to help things lean a little bit more CT sided. The thing is, Ents are one of the most chaotic teams in the world on T side Nuke. It's yep. very difficult to contain them. They love the upper rush, and some Pius, he's down the vents early, but not before uh -oh. he has. Oh, no! Oh, what? what the hell just happened? Death from above, Assertion with the AK-47 somehow finds a second as well. That's, what is that? That's a Goomba stop if I've ever seen one. My god. And Frozen's down low. Frozen's in the bombsite downstairs. Ents, 
That's got to be so stunning. They have no idea what's available to them. Yeah, this is the eco as well, and it's all starting to oh, fall apart oh here. Insertion will post a third frag. They've got the man advantage and an AK-47. There's just no way, right? Madden takes this Frozen chance to tier. dive the vents. He's been sat back sight this whole time with armor. Oh, he lines it up! Sertion set them up to succeed when they had no business winning. It falls on Madden, and my god, did he have a much better second map than the first. But guys, inside the smoke, he dies! Four out of Sertion! I mean, this guy stomped a bro out inside of the fence. I mean... What was that? <laughs> I can't believe it. He just gives it nice. Let's, let's just enjoy this for a second. He gets a P250 kill, leaps down the fence, fires the AK-47, takes down Nerds as well. Four in total, a little bit of help towards outside as well. That is a beautiful round and exertion to close things out. Oh. Unbelievable scenes, a full eco victory for Mouse. They are online, they are looking healthy. Oh boy, does that ever just boon the economy as well for their first rifle buy? Couldn't have asked for a greater chance to just get back these first two rounds. That's an issue they struggled with all through Vertigo, that you're exactly right. They don't really have to worry about it for the moment just due to that ballooning. Nerds, though, he's been so good holding angles, waiting for pushes. Never expected the door play. Lobby is compromised. <laughs> it is lost. <laughs> all bets are off at this point. Absolute chaos is ensuing as the CTs have full control of Lobby. It's a four versus what you three. Madden and Snappy both at the top of the ladder here, waiting for a bit of information to come through. Some pious smoked off towards main entrance as well. We'll see if there's any chance for the CTs to fall back. That's yep. actually huge. He grabbed Bomb in that moment. Bomb was just there on the corner. They had control of it, but when those two bullets go out into the rooftop, some pious at the very least. Any silver lining here in this 3v4. They've got the bomb. Yeah, but look how stalled out they are. Like, it's great. And maybe you can even get an AK-47 if Madden wanted to upgrade. He's a little bit too far away. But you have 45 seconds to figure out where to go. You've lost information on the positioning of the Mal's defenders who have been aggressive. And you're not going to want to use utility to give up your play. So this position from Frozen is so strong. This distance, easy pickup. Madden crosses over. It's a bit of the puzzle pieced together by Entz, but simultaneously losing one of their members a 2v4 to work out if they're just going to go down to be hit the B they gotta, site. They're gonna have that to one guy at ramp that's the problem. They're going to have to start running pretty soon here. So the information is going to get passed over to Jimmy. Yeah, literally. We've got 12 seconds on the clock here. The Molotov defends and attempt to plant down towards lower, but mm. slip in Jimmy. He's ready, and he will deny at least the crossover oh. towards the bomb side <laughs> through the smoke. Confirms the round as well. Mouse tied things up. 2-2. Two, two. Entz looking at sixes and sevens now. The money is weak. They're going to have to take the full eco. $2,000 per player. Some pirates will buy a Tech 9. And Jason, they're actually going to force buy this one. Who am I to, to, really? to, to counter Snappy's I, decision I can't making. believe it. Well, you got to imagine it's an upper bust, right? You met, you just talked about it. You just said Entz is one of the most chaotic teams here on Nuke. Yeah. Let's see if they can create some of that chaos because they're going to need it. I think you might be right here. They would have got $2,400 per player into the next round. It would have been a full buy, but yes, the upper rush looks like it's on the cards here. Some Pius leading the charge of the Tech 9. Crack oh! things open! There's the triple kill for Entz! They've made it work! And Torchy and Jimpa have no choice but to save their weapons! <laughs> you couldn't have set that up better. You started this game by saying the most chaotic. And, I mean, it's not just chaotic. It's beautiful. It's Could amazing. you have asked for a better hit into that A site with such weaponry? Everyone in the defense was just wrecked. One player behind smoke and mini, one player blind, had to try and find safety at the Tetris boxes, and one, what, one player in heaven or behind the bomb site just mm. gets deleted. My god, Clean what a as you like. And Torji, can he hold on to the AWP? They absolutely have to here. He's holding towards Secret. It's going to be 3-2 for Enz, there's no doubt about that. Hits a leg shot towards some Pius as well. He's got his eyes on the AWP. He wants bomb, to take it out of the hands of Torji. Four health to hang on to, so we get five survivors on the round. But uh, that's Entz reminding Mouse real quick that this entire series, we said, has been the tale of the T sides. It's it is all about the offense. And just when it felt like an, a strong CT start was going to happen for the first time across these three maps, we get what? A Sun Pious double Tech 9 rundown. And it's been brawly. Neither one of these teams shying away from any fights. They are going at it early in the rounds. What an uppercut from Entz. That'll put you on notice if your mouth's on this CT side. Round six. Towards he's able to cross behind red. Spotted. 
Dia so ready, but oh. it's a double kill on a mouse. Two separate engagements that go their way. Snappy's charge off the MAC-10 denied. Down the vent, though, goes Madden with Bomb. Curiously enough, and no CT close enough to stop him from this plant. They can do something with this, Connor. Senpai is not in a prime position, admittedly, but he is patrolling the rotations towards Seekra. Now, the heavy lifting will have to be done by Madden here. If he can get a double kill somehow with this AK, maybe they're onto something. There's the first. If he takes Zershin down as well, there'll be enough time for oh. Sunpires. Here we go. The round is back on. Three versus two. And the Spaniard rotating in through the vents. And once he clears that out, that's going to be so much useful information for Madden to just turn attention back to the bomb. Wallbang damage is solid. Torres, he's on it. And then he comes off. And so now it falls to Sunpires. Peeks in with the headshot. Oh, takes himself a no second. Way. And it falls just to Frozen. Who oh. can get it in time? Can he? Yes, oh, he's sir. Got it. He's got it. Yes, oh. sir. Oh. Down to the wire in a 2v5. You lose control of vent and you almost lose control of round six. This is old school Counter-Strike. This is the oh. way we love to watch it played right at the end. Madden and Sun Pius almost pulling off a miracle. I've got goosebumps right now. You're absolutely right, Jason. The third map is delivering on all fronts here. Absolute chaos, absolute pandemonium, and the lower bomb site. You thought it was a done deal, a two versus five, but absolutely not. It comes down to the one versus one. They keep <laughs> Mouse Sports humble here. We tied things up three to three, and once again, the money is a massive question for ends going forward. I'm seeing the Mac 10s, Jason. I'm seeing the AK-47s. It's a questionable buy here once again, but you know they've got something up their sleeve. Yeah. Something. The last is time, be we, the here. last time we said that, it was an uppercut to the jaw of Mouse in the upper bomb site. But surely, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me Bro. twice. Are you I've, telling me Mouse I've can't be ready for it? And so many times on Nuke, and they'll rush up at least five, six times in each T half. Okay. This is going to be another example of it. And um, we don't seem to be going straight there. So, what is the plan for these three Mac 10s here in round number seven? Diha out towards the first box, and it's nerd to get dropped towards the heart. That's the AK 47 removed early. And now he's got a deep angle, and how do you hit the upper bomb site when you have that AWP up in your face? He backs off, but that changes Entz's plans. Yeah, does it ever. d backs off from outside, Sun Pius drops off from the roof, so time for plan B. Time for a readjustment. When there aren't these interior lobby hits going on from Ants, when they're not running straight into that A site, I think I want to just raise the flag now and say, watch Shuhei and Ko get aggressive inside of the lobby. One of the strong things about their A there setups, they get up in them. And so Zershin right oh now, my dude, God. eating flashbacks. But no one's attacking it. No one's pressing the issue. No one's taking advantage. And Torzi's got another one. Disappears down the vent. And Ents is out of utility now. Out of options. Ah, but grenade in hand. Madden swaps over. Smoke meets him in the doorway. And he'll just hold on to the corner for the time being. But they have survived that onslaught. They've gotten every utility barring Diha's last flashbang out of Ents. So what, what kind of an exec can they actually pull out? What happened in Hut that nobody pressed that? The bombsite player was blind for They've four deployed, what, seconds. like six flashbangs yeah. and no one pushes in. You've got three MAC-10s. It doesn't make any sense here, but can they recover? It all starts here, but Snappy will fail at the first test. It's now a five versus two, and I think they'll be holding on to the AK-47s. That's a weird round, Connor. They had three MAC-10s. They had the execution yeah. there, but no one enters the upper bomb site. I mean, not only does the buy indicate to us we're going to get another smash, but then yeah. that streamlining of flashbangs is like the second clue. So exactly. we all think we've got this figured out. I'm sure Mauser are also kind of scratching their heads like, what was the play? Now, obviously, Torsi picks up three kills with the op this round playing around the door. We didn't quite get to see those in the middle of it all, so maybe that's what called off the hut play. Maybe the fact that Shuhei has slid in through Squeaky in previous rounds, maybe they thought maybe that was coming in response to the site. I'm Tor not sure. Torsi got the first one called off, but then they readjusted and set up for a second salvo, and that's the one where it's like, what happened? Mm. This kill right here. And they said, okay, never mind. We don't need to press this quick. This kill would come oh, oh, later. Oh, sure. Torji's just having a great start to this map. He stepped up in map three yesterday against G2, was one of the driving forces to get them past that opponent. Now again, map three today, Torji starting off excellent. Eight and three for him with the AWP on Nuke. Well, it will be end centering. With another mixed buy here, Tech Nines and Rifles. The bomb has been dropped though, Snappy. Really? Delivers it towards main entrance here. The five on four, but it's substantial. At this stage, the fact they've given up the bomb so early, surely Mouse Sports take the round, but it will be Madden pulling one back. Yeah, Madden coming back up from Secret, definitely catching him slipping. Frozen calling for reinforcements to control this bomb, but we've got a dual setup outside. 
The other side of that coin is the bomb being dropped might lure Mal's players to it and create weaknesses away from the bomb. And there's a minute to work with. A minute and 10 seconds. Well, Nerds has the only smoke available here. They've got a couple of flashbangs otherwise, and you can see full vision of the bomb for the Mal side here. Frozen is not going to give it up easily. Torji will back him up as well with the AWP. One minute on the clock here. I have no idea how Ents recover the bomb and then go on to win the round as well. They've got one smoke to utilize throughout all of this. Madden trying to be a distraction in the lower bomb site, breaking glass <laughs> up top. Stop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Frozen, back of big garage, grabs another. Has to reload with the three bullets. Jim Pat still stoic as ever. Sits back and waits. Diha eats the flash. Can't grab bomb. And we're down to the 30 seconds. And Torsi so concerned about that ramp, but still manages to pull one off. It's going to be a bit of desperation now from Sun Pius. He hasn't been able to extend out, but at least he grabbed that smoke. And he knows Frozen's locked in, but Torsi finds that upper angle. Mao is able to drop bomb and control it from that point on. Well, surely the madness ends here for Ents. That's what they, you think. They've been throwing the kitchen sink towards Mouse here. Every single approach, every angle of attack, and it is the bomb that is dropped early on in the round. Of course, the catalyst for their defeat here in round number eight. But Frozen, Listen, he, they, he understood the assignment there, managing to hold on to this C4, making sure they get nowhere near the bomb site. I was going to say, they could half buy again. They're about to get $2,900 in a loss bonus, so they have bought in, and Sun Pius has gone for the hero AK-47. Will likely get one dropped to him in the next round by a teammate but they're just buying enough to be dangerous to try and take some of these guns away because they know the economy is growing and they don't want that. That's the worst eventuality for Ents is Mal's getting too rich for them to break at any point during this half. Dia scours towards Red Room, but nothing seen. It really, again, does come down to Sun Pius and the solo AK. Now, during his first... Bouts of inclusion on Mao's gym pat and the ramp room was problematic. We talked about it. Oh, that nade hurts a lot. They're going to have to continue their assault here towards the ramp. Sampai is trying to crack things over. The incendiary will force them to commit. They've lost two players on route. Jim Pat <clears> looking <throat> for his third, which he will convert as well. Now, bear in mind, it wasn't the force by from Mens here. A partial uh, with a Sampai AK-47 here, but it's a clean sweep. Mount Sports mop the floor with Ents here, and they go up 6-3. to three. And this is where your questions about some of these half buys and these full investments uh, really comes into play, because Ents have gotten the other end of it, right? Now it's all backfired. They've spent all these resources, yep. and they've gotten nothing for it. The economy has continued to grow for Mal's, and Ents have been bleeding rounds and half buys where you don't have full kits of utility, where you don't have the best opportunities to win. 6-3 to three lead early for Mal's. They bounce, bounce back quickly. Yeah, so we'll call the first tactical timeout. A chance to catch our breath across the board here. Ents need to decide what they're doing going for. Now, bear in mind, Sam Pius certainly won't have the AWP. Not required on the heat side of Nuke by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly going to be difficult operating here in round number 10. So he'll have $1,600. No one's going to drop him anything as of yet. So I guess he'll be working with the, the Tech 9, maybe a Desert Eagle. He'll purchase a smoke. And uh, this is Mouse looking very, very good for round number 10 here. Torji, of course, with the AWP. We've got Jim Pat on the AK towards ramp now. Playing ramp with the AK is an absolute dream. You get the one-tap potential, you can take some uh, offensive duels. And we'll see if Ents can bounce back in. And it will be the Tech 9 for Sun Pius. Certainly no sniper available. Nerds is just going to crank that dial, dives the vents, and gets down. And there's no exertion standing on... Oh, or is there? Oh! He came <laughs> down behind him. But Nerds has got a freebie oh, knife belt. Yeah, there we baby. go! Revenge! <laughs> yeah. All right, then. A beautiful start here for Ents. <laughs> you just did that in the semifinals. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess they needed the cash, to be honest with you, sure. as reflected <laughs> in this particular round. So it'll be Shuey looking to respond here, pushing in towards the lobby, but look who's patrolling. It's Madden. A prime position oh. to take this frag down. He has no way. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. How has he got to the ladder undetected? This is absolutely massive. But, I mean, where does he go from here? He doubles back down. He gets caught. Oh, what? No. Oh, he comes back down the ladder. Gives him a second chance. Two players defending. Gimpad cannot hold the line. Torji up above with an op. Shirley only gets one. Has oh. to be aggressive and can't find Diha. No, had no other choice, right? Had to drop in. Had to try to get in the mix, knowing the windows are compromised and that he's doomed for. Yeah, yeah he's like, how did you knife someone? What the <laughs> hell just happened? Hey, bro, how did you knife someone? And B, because think about if you're Madden. All you see is somebody coming down the ladder. Yeah, you're so How did that confused. guy get there? 
Explain yourself. Well, he's going to be, uh, he'll either be pissed if they lose or laugh if they win yeah. when he watches the replay and sees how that occurs. See, he's coming oh, down, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> like he's seen a ghost. <laughs> How did he get through the walls? <laughs> okay. Bro, hold outer, man. He came out from roof. A technical timeout. To be fair, we haven't seen many of them over oh. five weeks, Jason. No. Nope. Very smooth tournament. Yeah. Shout out to our admins. And it's already fixed as the players are readying up. So we'll be getting back into this real quickly. Can you believe this? the vibe in the other room as well? The energy. Yeah. Did you catch that segment I did? It's great. Yeah, you did wonderful. <laughs> yeah, you were great. Woo. We didn't get it. You no, know, tomorrow, we're going to make sure during the grand final, I'm going to be in there during the match. I'm going to mm. make sure I'm there to capture this energy. Mm. Thank you so much for staying with us, Malta. You've been an amazing crowd. Let's keep the energy going as we're ready for round number 11 here. It's Mouse Sports hitting 6-4 to four in our semi-final third and final map here. We are going to see the AWP out once again. Money's starting to run thin on the mouse side here. And here comes that upper rush, Connor. He's fast. Dio's already in the sight, but maybe one too many jumps. And Zertion holds off the second. There's more where that one came from. Don't count them out. A second as Ents equalize in an instant. Yes, it's at the cost of health, but it's also at the cost of map control. Sun Pius has slipped down beneath heaven. And with an incendiary up top, it's going to be a tough job for the two Mao's members relegated to heaven, stuck outside that utility. Sure enough, Ents have found a way to squeeze into A. And they should know where everyone's located, right? They hear the gunfire from Mini, so they know one's outside waiting to enter the small garage. They know there's players up in heaven. The only X factor is Torji going for this long wraparound to lobby with the off. There is no utility available on either side in this three-on-three -three retake. Ents are the walk wounded though low on HP as Sun Pius is dropped it's another fantastic kill from Jim Pat waiting for his teammates to be ready to strike but the bomb is ticking at some pace they're now. both watching heaven oh my god Nert still back turned Madden well he's stuck in the open it's big Jimmy with a three piece and then a kit to defuse on top. Mao's will get that seven. Oh, that felt easy. That felt like an easy retake. Well done from Mao's. Do not lose their composure. And notice as well, this time when the upper hit comes in, it's three Mao's players turtled up at the back of the bomb site. Two in heaven, or one in heaven, two in the site as that comes in. Ents can't find anyone blind in the open, scurrying for any kind of a cover. Well, there we have it. Now Sports bouncing back here. 7-4 to four after giving up the pistol, a 0-2 deficit, and now Ents looking quite weak here. You Normally those upper rushes work, on it. Normally they'll yes. find some sort of access. Now they got the bomb down, they recovered it to some degree, but these buys have been so weak here. We are yet to see a Sun Pius AWP. Like I said, it's not required, yep. but certainly one of his calling cards. Honestly, regardless of the first two opening kills going the way of Maus, I still think that A hit was successful. You planted bomb in a 3v3. If you have a little more health, if Jimmy doesn't get his two kills from inside of heaven, I mean, Ents bouncing back within that round, making it look alive. Yeah. Can't always be said in 3v5s. <laughs> True. So, tip of the hat, but honestly, it's Torzi, 12 and 4 at the moment. Yeah. We talk it, about Shuhei and his ability to unlock oppers, and when so much of this community had written off Torzi after the shortcomings of yeah. Maus in the first half of this year, all he needed was his original IGL. Wow, triple nade here towards the huts, but only Shui will take a little bit of damage, down to 68. They like naded the spot that was Molotov yeah. as well. There was a very uh, close to 0% chance someone was going to be there, oh. but that nade lands, Nertz goes down, and all of a sudden your lobby defender is taken out of the fight, so Madden has got to shift back, leaving just three players to cross towards Secret. Another nade. Slightly off the mark from Frozen. We do have Torzi downstairs already, and we know that this is an opera's paradise. Of all the angles on the map, so many fallback positions. So the first one, instantly, and with an incendiary on top of it, he feels so much more comfortable. That's an absolute shutdown of a round there. The pickup of the frag, the incendiary, just forces them to go elsewhere, and Frozen in another prime position here. And Ooh. he's being active as well. He wants to hunt for these frags, and that's to his oh. detriment. A couple given away here, as Ents have a fighting chance, but not for long. No, that's a good frag from Shuhei to keep this locked in their favor. Torji's ready to come up the vet. As soon as contact is made, he will slide. Molotov gets the kill, oh. but Yimpat from outside. Still another scary one where, where a 3v5 is looking nice and comfortable. Yep. Secret's totally locked down. You've got these guys Bait. just stranded outside. Whoa. Think of how different this game could be if events had pulled off that 2v5 in the, in the oh, early going yeah, of this. Yeah, that, right. that, that, that was absolutely mental and all, almost clawing this one back into contention. Oh, this half has been sick.
Yeah, you talked about has been awesome. You like, talked about the energy in the other room, and think of all the crazy things that have just happened in this server in the first ten rounds of this yep. map. Not another upper rush. Surely we're done with that. Now <laughs> do it. We've go had for enough it, of them. Oh my god, Rinse Connor, we're doing it again. Down the vents we go. Sun Pirates is feeling brave. He's only got the tech nine, but Zershan with the MP9 answers back. It's been the opening kill once again for Mouse Sports, but can end upon the bomb. Yeah, it's three sets of feet downstairs. It's an AK in the hands of Snappy as he slides out to the Astralis plant. Madden just wants to wait. Rewarded for patience. Now over towards the B site, of course, one burns alive, and that could get problematic. As all of a sudden the secret player is back into the mix, you've not planted your bomb, you're sitting on 6 and 38 health between the two, it's toast. And the money is absolutely broken here as well, especially if they don't get the plan down. Yes, maximum loss bonus coming through, but the bomb needs to be planted, which it will be. Four versus two, not impossible to win this, but it'll certainly be improbable. It all starts here, Jim Pat will actually post both frags there. It's going to be Mouse Sports picking up yet another convincing round. Problem is, even if they get that bomb planted, there's no safety. You can't escape the bomb site, right? And with low health, just stuck in the bomb site, very few options of where to go after that. You have to kind of throw yourself into danger to try and make an escape route. Nine to four. Mouse has held on oh so admirably against so much that Enz has thrown into them. Yeah. Every single idea, every single rush, it's been shut down time and time again. Sure, they got but, the bomb planted, it yields another bite, and finally, we have a Sun Pius AWP. It took us 14 rounds of play, hell. and finally it comes through. He's currently sat on 7 and 12. He hasn't had the uh, the best showing. But Vertigo is much better, but bear in mind a Mirage, he barely had an all frag. Yep, listen, he hasn't had the best showing throughout this series, and we're talking about Sun Pius, the big ticket performer for Ents in yeah. playoffs. At times, we kind of wait for playoffs in order it's, to get the Sun Pius it's show. It's normally like the grand final, that's where he normally drops off, right? Yeah. It's uh, uncharacteristic to see him this quiet, well, this early on in the in the semifinal. Dallas grand final rematch. True. So as far as Mauser are concerned, this is a grand final, one they want revenge for. And need I remind everyone, that that was a 16-10, 16-9 to Ents on Nuke and Mirage. The two maps that Maus are now poised to win. But, CT side of Nuke. It's always a bug, Connor. Of course. Until it's over. And right yeah. now, You've Snappy's stop done. Up <laughs> <laughs> no, just one more. Come on, guys. As his eyes glaze over and he runs out squeaky. Feel the rush. Oh, oh Torji's got another. And now Ents just getting picked apart. No answers for this Mao's defense. They're going to come at Yimpat. Well, Yimpat Jimpat doesn't actually have to frag here, Jason, but he's going to anyway. To. Of course he is. He could have just dropped down, but still a competitive round here. Dia uh -oh, pulling nice. it back, and against the orb, HP not a factor. Well, that kill might seal the deal, I'm afraid. 10 HP and a lovely kill for the smoke, as you might expect. Solid little fade away. Oh, this would Shui, be, be careful. Oh, oh. oh don't, don't give Dia this opportunity. Thankfully, Zershin is there. It got dicey. Money doesn't matter. Maus is rich. 10 to 4 going into the last round. Auto One sniper? last upper rush for the road, baby. No, they can't. All jokes aside, oh, they now, can. you can't rush upper again. It is not working. It doesn't look good. This looks awful, to be honest with you. Snappy going down with nothing. <laughs> Some pious dropped Tell me how you really feel. Shop. Um, yeah, they, they need to just um, slow things down maybe a little bit. Let's get an execution going eventually. Uh, Some pious. They yeah. feel, it feels like they might have got caught in this rhythm that they can't really escape mm -hmm. from at the moment, that they haven't been able to break out of and slow things down. Door's going to be blown open. They didn't go upper. They're going ramp with bodies, with numbers, with force. Yeah, but oh. this is Jim Pat's wheelhouse. This is where he shines, and he's going to fall back. All five players here. This is very unorthodox. You don't see this too often. That's oh, a great nade, though. Does a ton of damage. About 100. Can he convert the kill, though? He gets the first, and the lower bomb side is open for business. But it's Urshan. He's lying in wait. He can deny the plant. And see deny the half. Easy. Just like that. Couple shots out to drop bomb. And Shuhei already breathing down the back of this ramp play. But Diho, we saw him almost piece something together in that previous round. And he doesn't get caught on his reload. Zershin peeks out to win the duel with 15 health left over. And oh. Pius oh. is up stuffed inside of the vent. Four measly rounds for Ents on this T side in a series defined by the offense. It is Maus to put up a brick wall and try to gun for the grand finals.
shot. Oh. Three kills from the captain. It has all led to this moment for Maus. Everything they have worked for this academy team rising up over the years. They have aged and they have grown and they are ready to make it to the grand finals. The experiment with Dexter, leaving behind longtime friend JDC. It has all led to a chance at hoisting a trophy. And they're just five rounds away from the grand finals of ESL Pro League season 18. Entz is on the verge of elimination. Entz only posting one single gun round on their T-side campaign. They are scraping the bottom of the barrel right now as they enter their CT side. They've got dual elites in the hands of Deha. If Mouse Sports pick up this pistol, they might have booked themselves a place in the grand final against Na'Vi. Jimmy, Zershan, lying in wait as the first smoke is deployed here. This might be for all the marbles, Connor. Could very well be. Doesn't it feel simple? Win the pistol, walk away. But d oh. can't stop them. Two clean kills to begin this. Nerds comes through and almost shaves a second off of the bomb site, but it will fall onto the shoulders of Snappy before Maus grab that 12th with ease. And you could see it coming with Nerds running out through that smoke. It reeked of desperation. Oh boy. And I'd hate to spoil it for the Ents fans, but it doesn't get any easier from here. Cyclone looks like he's ready. He looks like he's ready to get this game done with and move on. Start prepping for Navi now. Okay. What a knockout punch. So, some decisions to be made here. Do you force by in the second? It's a resounding yes from the ends camp here. It all lies on the nerds. To. MP7, a Sun Pius glass cannon scout, if you can call it that, and a few pistols. You lose this round, you're 13-4 down. Make it 14-4 because you'll be full eco in the following round here. Sun Pius needs to find impact here. At least a few tags to stand a chance. Scout shots ringing out. 
One of them finds its mark. Good oh, challenge. Baby. Beautiful shot. Let's go. Frozen oh. down as well. Big scalp to take. Oh, look at all the players that are here, though. They rotated to defend against this. One goes down. Oh, no. oh the trade's not there. He might get away. Madden missed the opportunity. And two more spotted down low, so Mao's realized there's weakness elsewhere. Man, the pace of this game has just been electric. Round after round, it is running. And if Mao's get bogged into that in a round like this now, with already one of their players low, it could definitely open the door for Ents to just rob back some early momentum. They need this. The lifeline is very much alive. Ents are risk takers, though. They're happy to charge you. They're happy to reposition, go against the grain here. As time ticks away, we've got some Pius and CT spawn. Shui, the in-game leader, needs to piece this one together. What is their next move? They have four players towards outside, Jason. They're Presumably, still... have to go down lower. There's no information for Ents. They still have two players down low. I mean, like, anything that happens towards the oh, upper bomb side, it's over. A is wide open, no presence, no defenders, except no Madden game. coming up the vent. That was an easy one. None of the rest are going to be like that. 25 seconds to that clock. Double CT set up down in the vent. Sun Pius could maybe run distraction as the first one falls, but will they expect the second? Can D Hug get predicted? And he just squeezes back, swapping out. Now that'll be heard. Bit of wall bank damage, no problem. Jim Pat's comfortable. He'll sit there all day long. You're going to run out of bullets before you can take him down. The thickness of the vent could no save way. him, or he peeks out and almost offers up that second. Now, the fact we came down to a one versus one, Connor, Whoa. it begs the question do you want to go all in for tournament on the line? Are you buying into this round? Hell Ents, yeah, just do it. Go it, out swinging. It baby. comes down to a one versus one. They have the choice, they could go for it. There's an M4 in hand for Diha. Yeah, that could just be a hero M4. See if you can make something happen. You gotta right. have some element, some danger of being able to turn around on its head. Four grand finals in a row, only one of them victorious. It doesn't look like they're gonna get a fifth chance. So, a roll of the dice here for Diha. One of the strongest units within the Ents camp, but Seven kills to his name. He hasn't turned up to this third and final map. They're 13-4 down. They desperately need a world-class performance here in round number 18. Is Torji up top, looking above the smoke, trying to find that first pick. Now, you have to consider that otherwise we have a full eco here. Diha is the only player who can make an impact here. No defenders downstairs in this round. zershin has got free reign to explore. He's the scout as well, right? With the MAC-10, he can take some risks. Yep, and this M4 is in Big Garage. Dia can hear these footsteps. He's listening for information. No one's going to stop and cross to fight those Deagles. There's no point. Oh, Snappy, what have you got for us? It's going to be desperate here. Desert Eagle, no armor. They have got three players down towards lower at this point. They can fight back. It would take something remarkable, but they've got the setup to do something. Great crossfire for the USP, but Shui's going to make the difference. The eventuality of that T You're push. Diha's floating around, and he's going to fall victim to Zershin's Mac 10. Easy swap out. And all of a sudden, just like that, it is Nertz left with nothing. Nobody to find, nobody to kill, no gun to save, no rounds to play with. This is Mao's two away. Unless. <laughs> Unless. No, I'm joking. Nerds can do nothing. The best he can hope for is, of course, trying to pick up a weapon, but that's going to be absolutely I, I, impossible as well. I really wish Dia had made the decision to save that M4. I don't mind the idea of buying the hero yeah, M4, sure. but you were not recovering that scenario. Just bail no out, chance. and you could have a full buy in this one. Although, fair play. He's still going to have an M4, so whatever. Well, with it all to play for, it all comes down to this. Ents have to present the perfect CT side here. We'll see them take a tactical timeout, their final one. And bear in mind, the money is going to be battered and bruised with that Hero M4, which didn't deliver on his promise. We are going to see an MP9 in the mix, and it won't be Diho operating with it. One of their strongest riflers will be the uh, support player, Madden, operating with the MP9 here. Now, it's a very viable weapon on Nuke, but certainly not ideal. But what is ideal at this point is the Sunpire's AWP. He's going to have to carry the living Christ out of them, Jason, to stand a chance. I here. mean, it doesn't matter. It, it might be him with the off, but someone is going to have to ignite this team. If you're going to make this comeback happen, whether it's some pious, whether it's Nerts, whether it's Diha, somebody has got to have a sequence that gets some life, some energy back into this end side of things, because it's been a long time since they had anything to be cheerful about. Probably the first half pistol round. That's about it. 
14-4. One away from match point. And it's going to be Jim Pap. No fear. Gets us up towards Trophy Room, hunting for a bit of information. Comes to a bit of a standstill, though. Now Sports want to see what they're up against here. Any aggression, Entar known for it. Snappy with the speculative spam towards Trophy. No damage inflicted yet. Yeah, very early on in the round, but Ramp will be tested. Laying down Util before any hit comes in. Oh, Snappy's got a lot to do here. Tucks his head, drops down, but a little bit delayed, and then he eats that flash. If there was a flood forward behind him, he's doomed. Now but they'll this, take Ramp for now. This is not a bomb site, but it's prime real estate. You can see how much pressure it applies to the CTs. He's called <laughs> for rotation. Man in towards window with that MP9. SMG in window, good luck. Best of luck indeed. Madden has a gap though. And Ooh. Snappy picks up his kill. 5v3 for the CTs. You'd think no way they bounce back. But while Madden's vision is still limited, Diha just jumped down behind the ramp and Jim Pat didn't hear him. He hasn't turned until it's too late. With the bomb dropped in front of it, that SMG gets out and Entz's weapons make a world of difference. Fair play. I'll, I'll eat my words. That little gap in the smoke gave him all, everything he needed. Otherwise, that SMG ain't doing anything. Zertion goes down. There's the first round for Entz. Long way to go. Let's not get too yeah. excited. It's a golf clap in the arena right now because, yes, we have got an absolute marathon ahead of us if Entz are going to bring this game back to life. But it's a great start there. Making it work with uh, the SMG, as you mentioned, just that slight gap in the smoke was absolutely everything for Madden. And now we upgrade to the M4A1S. They've got the AWP as well, uh, but still money at plenty for Mouse. I say that. Frozen's on the Tech 9. There is a little in the mix as well. So going to try and go for that knockout punch right here, right now. But it will be eco if they give this round up. And remember, Shui has called incredible T sides yeah, in this really series. Has. Outside of this first half on Nuke that Mouse had on their defensive side, it has been all offensive production. Defenses have been scrappy. Sun Pius wrapped upon with pace. Oh, exertion rounding little blue like that. Huge moment and almost had a chance to duel versus main, but instead Snappy wastes no time and slides out. Chimpad has been in a hell of a lot of clutches tonight and loses more often than not, but this one a swift start. Another 1v2 now as he cuts it from the 1v3. That's a good point. This 1v2 is what number sounds six. a lot more doable, doesn't it? Yeah, he's got 100 HP. Oh, Jimmy. He's got over a minute. Can you imagine if he pulls this one off? <laughs> well, you're going to have to as Madden will close out the round and recover the AWP. In my head, the imaginary clutch was amazing. It was sick. <laughs> it was. Yeah. That's true. But uh, unfortunately now, Mouse will be on to pretty much a full eco. They can partially invest with maybe a couple of upgraded pistols, but Ents are back on track, at least for now, on this CT side comeback. This was dangerous, though, and this is what this series has been, just brawling and see what you can get, what kind of space you can take advantage of, and Mouse almost get that one more kill that might have been able to make yeah. them just take control of the map, take control of the round. So just the full eco here, not much to speak of. Glocks, one Desert Eagle, and uh, the absolute top end. Getting the bomb down here would be great with a couple of kills, but it's very unlikely against a very full-equipped buy here. A little bit of head hunting never will hurt anybody. Frozen desperate for the contact. Here we go. Some pies opening things up. Bit of a shooting gallery, a chance to get himself yeah. warmed up into this second half. He's looking much better now. The remainder of Mouse will be out there as well. It's Deha mopping them up, and there's a chance for a kill. It will be Jimmy slipping down from main roof and towards the Desert Eagle. If he gets one more, call it a, a bit of a victory for himself. He's only got 43 points of health here. Four players to find and a chance at a 1D, but the Orb will presumably swing out and take him down momentarily. And Ooh, there it is. Hello. Uh, Another pretty one. good round, all things considered. You, you were full eco. You got himself a couple of kills. Sets you up for the future here. And in terms of the future, we are going to have $2,900 per player for Mouse here. So, another full buy and a chance to find round number 15. It will be a tactical timeout from Mouse as they try and coordinate themselves for the upcoming round. They haven't really had to go deep into the playbook yet in this half, so likely just a conversation of, boys, we're right on the edge. This is a new kind of pressure as well, finding a way to get over the hump, complete this victory in this series. Just chill. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Along the lines, yeah. to say the very least. <laughs>
Everyone take a breath. We got rounds to play with. We got plenty of things. We came in with a good game plan. Let's not let the pressure knock us off our plans. 14 to 7. Full AKs for Mal's on this attacking side. Plenty of utility. Now, do they want to increase the pace themselves? Maybe go for a rush in towards a certain bombsai here. <laughs> Time will tell. Something we haven't it's seen my, yet. It's you my know? absolute favorite. When it does get presented, I love it. But it will be the outside smokes for now. And we'll see if Deha can do anything about it. Getting himself on top of the garage roof. It's a vulnerable position, and Zershin will convert the first frag. Oh, oh no. No, it's all gone horribly wrong. They can bring this back. Some Pius is alive and well, and you know he's going to find some impact here. Man, they've just been pummeling Nertz, though, in a series where Nertz has been keeping Entz's head afloat. Sure. He is sitting at 8 and 15, spammed through smoke by a 17-year-old. We're going I, down towards lower edge, Jason, and there's no CT presence whatsoever. Yeah. Now, what's the call? Do you just save the money? Because you've got cash going forward, but it's a five on three. It looks like if they plan lower, you're done for. You've got I, no if, chance of retake. If you're planning on defending, you had to have someone down here. You're not going for this retake. We have got Snappy at least exploring it. He was at the mouth of the ramp, yeah, just here. Uh, but I don't think he can do anything about it. Here, the Molotov deployed, and he'll have one area of approach to even try and challenge the planet, which won't happen. Maybe you test it if you're snappy. He's going for it. I mean, you're going to die if you do this, right? If you're going to commit to finding any number of kills, but you need at least two to make it possible. Oh. And peace. Spotted as he tried to crawl out. Shuhei just needed that sliver. Yeah, but look, Madden's compromised as well. Over in ramp room. Oh, is he? Even if he gets this kill and gives away his position, he can still be hunted down at the end of the day. Yeah, this is a very and common save spot, Sun right? And Pius will never expect anyone yep. going up heaven. Oh. There's so many ways this can get worse. If they take Sun Pius down, call it GP. And none of them are happening. Man, they got lucky, I feel. Zertion doesn't clear behind box. Zertion doesn't take heaven. Two things that could have cleared Ents out of this. So, sure enough, Bomb Pops, Mouse, 15, five players alive. Eight map and match points to continue the run of runs for this Mouse squad. All right, Ants, try, time to buckle on your work boots. Made a huge comeback. Good no kills. Oh, boots. Nerds running into the vent as well. He wasn't even trying to stand there. He just wanted to get down and he couldn't find it. There are fan cams as well. If you want to get stuck in, you've got about one round to do it. Uh, yep. Log on, see if you yeah, can support quick. your favorite team. And certainly needed at this stage. Eight rounds in a row required on their CT side. They are fully equipped at least. Oh and my god. round number 23, some pious towards outside. Molotov to buy him a little bit of space and time here. And it's Jim Fab waiting a squeaky door, trying to fend off any CT aggression. The first shot is fired, some pious with a near miss. Looking deep over top of the silo, he wants to get active. Then the peak comes through, and it's perfect. He's not alone. Nice Ooh. snapshot. Zershin just took that damage, but Sun Pius is burned open. <laughs> oh my god. And I hell, love it. I love it. Clears out the second, and that support behind it's not enough. Sun Pius had a lot of responsibility this round, and it pays off. That is absolutely wild. The confidence, the audacity to bring out the duelies here, but it's enough. Five versus two now. Frozen. Jim Fat, nothing to do. They'll have money going forward here. A save is an option. It looks to be the call as well. They're going to start making their way towards T-Spawn. The bomb's already down. There is nothing to be done here. Sun Pius takes a risk, but sometimes that has to be done. It'll be another full buy for Mouse in the next round. They've got the cash for it. The extra money is going to replenish some of the nades and help the teammates buy. So another 5 AK round coming in for Mouse in round 24. But for now, things hold strong. Sun Pius with a pair of kills. And no access to the bomb sites. That's it. That's what we like. Round by round ends. You do not get to four grand finals in a row without surviving trials and tribulation. If ever there was a map and it's side to make this sort of comeback happen, Connor. Mm -hmm. CT side of Nuke, 15-8. This, this would probably be it. Your money's online. Your star players are fragging. 
and you just need to take it round by round. This is still within the realms of possibility. They have given Nertz a little more runway to truly get active. Yeah, and if true. Sun Pius is going to dominate outside like this, I mean, just the confidence it's to get into that play. It's an play, right? Yes. He's wanted to take those sort of risks. His teammates are going to have to as well. You need to stick it to him, get stuck in, and we'll see if Mouse Sports can close things out right here, right now. AK is across the board here. It's Torji with 23 kills. Jim Pat with 20. They've played an amazing game so far. One more round. We'll book them a place in the grand finals here against Na'Vi. Ooh, Molly spreads. That's 40 damage versus Jerson that he didn't want to deal with. Diha fading backwards, but the T's, they don't necessarily shy away from this. They've already just jumped across down into secret. Now, this has been a lot of audio. Oh. So Sun Pius is happily sitting and waiting, knowing exactly what's coming his way. Or at least for the first one, does he realize what's behind it? Three more members of Mao's, and he misses his chance to strike down a second. So it's a little bit of desperation from Sun Pius as he sprints away to safety. Madden sliding in in front. Jim Pat's oh, Lord, Lord. out on ramp works. Madden's a one and done, and suddenly we're back to an even 3v3. But not so even. Sun Pius, six health. Big chance for Nerds. We just said, given runway, given a little more room to improve this score, but one is all he gets before he himself is toppled. And Jim Pat's gonna have to give cover. Snappy charges bomb. That's huge. Young Jimmy, two kills into the round, and he has no clue where that six health Sun Pius is at. So he grabs it and he creeps away. Another, a seventh, one versus two in this series. He has lost five. No way. But this one's huge. And he gets oh! it! He gets it! He ends it! Mouse pull off this run all the way to grand finals. I'm talking, I'm talking the number sixth ranked phase, the number three ranked G2, and the number two ranked Ents from the ashes of.